Good day. In 1990, SNK released what was quite possibly the greatest 2D game and console ever made, the Neo Geo. Now, what set the Neo Geo apart from other arcade consoles of the time was it used interchangeable cartridges, similar to a home console, rather than a single system board. Now, if you were an arcade owner and you had, say, Mortal Kombat 1 and you wanted to get Mortal Kombat 2, well, you would have to get a completely different arcade cabinet. Now, at the Neo Geo, if you had Art of Fighting 1 and you wanted to get Art of Fighting 2, all you had to do was buy the Art of Fighting 2 cartridge. Plug that in, and there you go. It thus saved space and really cut down on costs. Now, interestingly enough, someone created an emulator for the Neo Geo for the Nintendo DS. So let's take a look at how to get this thing running. After you download Neo DS, you're going to have to download an additional file called Neo Geo. Now this is a BIOS file. It's the same file that you would use in MAME to play Neo Geo games. That also brings up the fact that the games need to be the MAME ROM sets, because if they're not, they're not going to work. Open up Neo DS and create a folder labeled Convert. That's where you're going to put this file. The ODS Convert is the application that will actually convert the files to the .neo format. So you paste that in there, and then get your Neo Geo BIOS. Don't unpack it, leave it the way it is, and then get your game file. Now, you're going to want to leave the game packed. If you unpack it, once again, it's not going to work. After you have both files, click on Convert. If you have done everything right, it'll create two files the game name .neo and neo geo .neo. You don't need the neo geo file. It doesn't do anything. So cut the game name .neo. Then you're going to need to cut neo ds .nds. That's your application file. After that, cut both files into the root and that's all you have to do. You don't need to create any special folders or have a configuration file. It's just the application and the game. And that's all that goes into that. In order to run Neo DS, simply click on the icon Neo DS. Don't click on the game title, as it won't work. You would not believe how many times I've done that. When the program boots up, you will get a list of all the ROMs on the card, and you will also get an option to enable or disable the audio. Let's go in order and select Art of Fighting. You do this by pressing the Start button. When you start a game, you get a number of options. You can Soft Reset, you can change the controls, you can save, but we'll get to that later, and you can turn the bottom screen on or off. Changing the controls is a must, as the default ones aren't very good. Now, you can also have the video normal or scale. While normal is a larger aspect ratio, it does cut some things off on the sides, so I would recommend leaving it on scaled so you can see the entire game. You also get the option to change the CPU clock. I would recommend just leaving it on normal. The game itself works rather well. There aren't really any emulation issues, and slowdown isn't all that prevalent. As far as Art of Fighting goes, it's a fairly decent fighter. It's got some really interesting zoom-in, zoom-out portions that at least livens up the gameplay, but other than that, it's a pretty basic fighter. Now let's take a look at my all-time favorite, Metal Slug. Metal Slug is just emulated perfectly. There are almost no emulation issues that I can discern, and slowdown is limited to just parts where there's a lot of things going on at one time. The main thing that stands out about this game is the sound. This microphone does not do it justice. It sounds just as good as Metal Slug on any console. Really, just listen to this. Despite being somewhat more advanced than Metal Slug 1, Metal Slug 3 is still emulated almost perfectly. The sound is of the same quality as Metal Slug 1. And really, the only problem is the omnipresent slowdown. At no time is there no slowdown. But this is not game-breaking by any means. It's just something that you have to get used to. And once you get used to it, you can play this game rather successfully. <laughs>
as far as I can tell, Polestar emulates perfectly. Slowdown is almost non-existent, as you can see here. However, the sound quality is not quite as good as Metal Slug. And that's mainly due to the age of the game, as Polestar came out in 1995, whereas Metal Slug came out in 1996. The game that's given me the most trouble is Aero Fighters 2. The Neo Geo BIOS song starts up, and then it hangs up for some reason. After you move on from the BIOS screen, all of the sounds are once again emulated correctly. Even the character selection menu works rather well. But then, after you move on from that, it stops and there's no more sound in the entire game. One other issue is that sometimes the helicopters will experience an emulation glitch and not appear on the screen. You can usually fix it by just soft resetting. Other than that, other than the sound and a few small emulation glitches, the game is still fully playable. Neo DS is a really superb emulator. Its emulation issues are few and far between, and overall the only real problem with the emulator is the finicky soft reset. Now, it's probably one of the best, if not the best, emulator on the DS. Now, for next time, I'm going to be reviewing an emulator for a console that came out over 12 years before I was even born. That's right, I'm going to be reviewing the Atari 2600 emulator known as Stella DS. But for now, this is General Watts wishing you good, Arrow Wings 3, good King of Fighters, or whatever makes you happy. And remember, to always ask for whatever it may or may not be, with your power!